All right, boys, we're going to do a quick ta con tonsil, tonsil tier list. Okay, dude, best tonsils to have. I'm going to be honest with you, Sadio Uya, this shit's dog shit. I'm going to be honest, boys, it's actually dog water. Lord 9 video, we're going to check it after this. By the way, YouTube frogs, if you're watching this, you fucking know what to do. What, are you fucking stupid? Are you fucking brain damaged, kid? Bro, I'm going to be honest, if you're watching this, a non-Lost Ark related video, there's a good chance you probably already watched me on Twitch. And I love you for that. I love you. Yeah, you. You're so handsome. Wow, your penis is looking huge today. All right, boys. <clears throat> a lot of these are going to be in the GOAT tier, okay, dude? Because a lot of consoles are just a fucking GOAT, okay, dude? The PSP... I'm going to be honest, guys, listen, I had a PSP, but the thing is, now you think we're putting PSP in good. No, but the PSP had some bangers, dude. The PSP had some fucking bangers. It really did. It really did have some bangers. But the thing is, everyone had a PSP, but no one used it, you know? No, I think the lack of a second analog stick just made it not hit. Also, everyone's PSP I've ever met, besides mine, had the fucking thing broken. Now, you know what? PSP good. PSP good. PSP good. PSP OG or Vita? Vita banged. I'm going to be honest, I fucked with the Vita heavy. The Vita had some some actual bangers on it. Original Xbox? Goat. I'm going to be honest, guys. Knights of the Old Republic 1 and 2. Jade Empire. Halo. Uh, Crazy Ta- Well, I guess Crazy Taxi came from Dreamcast, eh? Honestly, original Xbox had some fucking... Yeah, Jet Set Radio. It had some good shit, dude. It had some good ass shit. That shit slapped. What the fuck is this? Is that the Atari Jaguar? Bro, that's dog. I'm gonna be honest. That's actually dog shit. That's actually fucking dog shit. That's legit dog shit. Uh, the PS3. I mean, the PS3. Demon Souls. Uh, I've never been a big Killzone person. They had Uncharted series, Metal Gear. Uh... PS3 honestly did amazing. It started off slow because it was so expensive, but it ended up outselling uh, the Xbox. Like, that shit just hits. I'm going to be honest. It actually it just hit. It had Modern Warfare, I mean, that was on everything, right? God of War. God of War was a, was a banger, you know what I mean? The Atari, this might be a bit of a hot take, but uh, this console almost killed gaming. There is not a single Atari game that's ever worth going back to. Maybe Snake, I guess? I don't know. Fuck the Atari. I'm gonna be honest. This shit sucks ass. Uh, Nintendo Switch. I'd say the GOAT. I'll be honest. Bunch of banger titles. Kind of... I don't want to say pioneered, but... Mobile gaming became... A, was a whole different beast after the Switch. Breath of the Wild, Tears of the Kingdom, Mario Odyssey. Uh, it had some bangers. Monster Hunter Gen uh, Double Crosser Generations, depending if it's Japanese or English, like, it had some fucking bangers. It really, it has, it's, I'm gonna be, yeah, Smash Brothers, it has some great, sh I mean, again, most Nintendo consoles, I'll be honest, most Nintendo consoles are gonna be in the GOAT category. They're all, they all have heat. I'm gonna be honest, they will have heat. Same with the GameCube. Nintendo just makes heat. The thing is, Nintendo is one of the few companies where, realistically, guys, there's always gonna be console exclusivity with them because they're the only company that makes money under consoles. Every other company sells consoles at a loss, and... People will buy a fucking entire console for one single series. Before Monster Hunter became multi-platform, there's people who would buy a Nintendo console just to play Monster Hunter. Same thing with Pikmin. Same thing with Smash. Same thing with Mario. Same thing with Zelda. It is... They have console-selling games, unironically. I don't know any other company that can do that. Or I guess at the scale that Nintendo can. You know what I mean? Uh, Nintendo can never mean a go-tier. Inside, you play Striker. Uh, Game Gear... I'm gonna be honest, man, this thing took like fucking eight AA batteries. Uh I'm putting this in the dog here. And mind you, you were able to play like Sega Genesis quality games. But bro, this shit fucking not nah, this shit was like this shit like had like a two hour fucking uh like a two hour battery life, you know what I mean? Uh Nintendo 64, I mean this has to be one of the greatest of all times. So this literally revolutionized gaming. The analog stick change the way we play games a lot of these games are like the first to like do 3d right and to do 3d well um i don't think game gear deserves dog game gear is so good game gear is so good because dog has to be actual dog shit game gear was actually not terrible um i mean n64 i feel like game gear was fire yeah, i feel like it was all right it was all right. i won't say fire it was all right. yeah there was a bunch of fucking classics on that shit the nes Again, I'm going to be honest, guys. These Nintendo console, like, again, maybe I'm a Nintendo fanboy. Okay, dude? Uh, 
a lot of fucking classics on this shit, dude. I mean, this, like, isn't the whole thing like the NES saved gaming? Like, gaming was about to fucking, like, video games were about to just die because of the Atari and uh, this shit came out and uh, worked out. You know what I mean? This shit worked out. My dad worked at a pawn shop when I was a kid and uh, brought home almost a Really? Wait, that's sick. Holy shit. You had a dad bragger. I'm, I'll be honest, guys. I, the, the reason why I think I'm putting the NES so highly, because all these games are hard to go back to now. But I remember there was a, a spring break where... Uh, okay, this is actually kind of a sad story, but a friend of mine in high school, his mom literally abandoned him, okay, dude? She went on vacation for what was supposed to be a week, but didn't come back for like three months, okay? It was actually really sad. But during this spring break, before we knew that she had like left randomly, I went to his house and we smoked weed all day and played Ninja Gaiden on the NES for an entire week. And I'm gonna be honest, that shit was so fucking fun. It was actually so fucking fun. It legit was fucking sick. It was so much fucking fun. What did he eat for three months, bro? It was rough. I'm gonna be honest. It was rough for him. I'm not gonna lie. It was, it was really hard. It was really sad. But maybe she left that part out. It kind of killed the vibe. She came back though, and she would send like money periodically. But that shit was fire. Ninja Gaiden was a Dark Souls before. The yeah, actually though, that shit was so hard, dude. We like we used to just do a run each, like all our lives each, to see until we beat the game. It was actually fire. This is. Is this the Lynx or the Jaguar? No, this is the Lynx, right? This is the Atari Lynx. I have no idea. We're gonna make a new tier. Uh, row below. Uh, I have no idea. No clue. Never touched one. Couldn't tell you. Oh, is this Saturn? No, wait, is this a Saturn? I can't even tell. No, it's not a Saturn. No, this is a Saturn. Yeah, that's a Saturn. So what the fuck is this? No, that has to be an Atari. That has to be a Jaguar. No, yeah, I have no idea. All right, anyways. A Master System or a Genesis? I love the Genesis, bro. I grew up with Sega. I didn't grow up with Nintendo. My dad never bought Nintendo consoles. I only played Nintendo consoles when I got older. Um, I grew up with Sega. So I grew up with Sonic. I grew up with fucking Vector Man. Uh, I grew up with fucking Altered Beast. Uh, Golden, Golden Axe. Shit like that. Like, you know. Um, Castlevania Bloodlines. Yeah, so I did. I, actually, no. Castlevania Bloodlines I never played. I played Castlevania on the... That's actually a... Uh, the Castlevania games on the GBA was was my was my jams, dude. Castlevania, uh, I think it was like Circle of the Moon or some shit, and then Aria of Sorrow or some shit like that. Anyways, they all were bangers. I love that shit. Uh, so yeah, I grew up with Sega, so I have like you know I listen. I'm gonna be honest, guys. I love Sega consoles. Same with the Dreamcast. I'm gonna be honest with Dreamcast to go. I'm gonna be real. Dreamcast was an underappreciated console. Fantasy Star. I think I played Tekken for the first time on this. Uh, Power Stone, Crazy Taxi, uh, Sonic Adventures. I love the Dreamcast. I deadass love the Dreamcast. It was my favorite console. I still remember the little memory card that I would bring around with me and the games were dog shit on it, but I used to love that shit, dude. I love my Dreamcast. I love, 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 love my Dreamcast. Uh, PS1, the GOAT. I still remember my um, my mom every week would let me go rent a game. And I remember renting uh, Metal Gear Solid 1 and my mom was like, are you sure you want to rent this? She's like, this seems like a hard game. She's like, this is like a really like an adult game. And I'm like, no, I want it. And I remember doing Shadow Moses, which I think is the first map, right? And I remember crying because I was frustrated and a child. And then we went back and we rented Spyro the Dragon or some shit. <laughs> soy? Yeah, it was Soy. It was soy. The Mass System, I'm going to be honest, guys. I love. I have, a, I have a soft spot for all the Sega consoles. I grew up with the Mass System. That shit hit. You know what I'm saying? That shit hit. This was like, I think I remember I had, on the Mass System, I think this was, I had Alex Kidd, I think. Is that, I don't remember. It was like a mixture of shit. <clears throat> uh, the Saturn, I never had. I never had a Saturn. I actually never had a Saturn. I played a Saturn for the first time at my uncle's house, and we played uh, Virtual Fighter. But I never had one myself. Skip ahead, <laughs> three hours, we've done JPEG. <laughs> Croc was uh, so much better than Spyro. Croc was sick, actually. Holy shit, I brought back a memory. The original Game Boy? I'm never gonna forget, dude. I think I told you guys a story recently. We went to go pick up my brother from daycare. Okay, dude. And there was this kid who lived above the daycare who was uh, mentally disabled. Okay, dude. And, uh, you know, I was, a ch I was a kind child. Okay, dude. So I never, I was never mean to him, whatever. And this day, usually it's kind of chaotic, but this day it was calm. And he was watching me play Pokemon, okay, on my Game Boy. And I had just beat the Elite Four. 
And right as I killed the last Pokemon in the Elite Four, he turned off my Game Boy and ran away. I still feel hatred towards him, and I'm 32 years old. I feel a deep-seated hatred towards him. I know it's not his fault, and I know this is wrong. But fuck him. They do the three stooges laugh. I just remember like, like, like cackling and boom, like, dude, he ran fast. He ran fast as fuck, dude. No idea. I haven't gotten another Xbox after 360 because the 360 is a dog shit console. Oh no, wait, this is a dog console. Fuck the Xbox 360. Fuck Microsoft. I'm gonna be honest. Fuck the Xbox. There were some bangers on this, but I'm gonna be honest, guys. I went through seven Xboxes or like eight Xboxes. I red wing, red ringed nonstop. I literally Christmas. Opened up my Christmas gift. I couldn't believe it. Called my friends. I was like, guys, we need to play fucking, fucking Halo. Do I go to fucking Xbox, dude? Red Ring on Christmas Day. Fuck the 360. Dog shit. Dog water. Dog shit. Dog shit. Uh, the Virtual Boy never played one. I have no idea. Never been seen one in my life. I actually have no idea. PC. PC to go. You know what I'm saying? Listen, I just got everything on it. Like you know, can't can't even compare to that shit. You know. The Wii U. Hot take, but I like the Wii U. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, Wind Waker, I mean, when, HD things, you know what, remakes are not going to count. Xenoblade Chronicles X was heat. Uh, I first played Monster Hunter for the first time on my Wii U. I played, uh, Try? Was Try on Mon No, it was not Try, it was... It was, the, like, you know how they always release Monster Hunter where they'll do, like, this and an Ultimate for our versions, and that'll give you G-Rank? It was the Ultimate version. Um, I found Zombie U was cool. I like the Wii U. I'm going to be honest. I had a lot of really good times with the Wii U. I had like really, really, really good gaming experiences on the Wii U. I liked it a lot personally. Uh, yeah. It was a banger. Super Nintendo. Nothing but heat. Super Mario World. Tons of God tier ARPG or uh, JRPGs that are literally still to this day being re-released because of how good they were. I'm not going to do another another tier list just because I don't want to do like too many in a row. I'll give you back the points after. Um, 3DS, bro, I love my 3DS. I'm gonna be honest, I actually, right now, have a working 3DS because of Lofi. I literally, just the other day, uh, finished uh, A Link Between Worlds. And I have this 3DS because of Lofi. My original 3DS, I had sold because I wanted to play BDO and stream it, but I wasn't making money. I was very broke. And so I sold my... Monster Hunter Limited Edition New 3DS XL and all of my 3DS games to make money to buy prepaid credit cards to then buy shit in BDO. And in a way, I don't really regret it because playing that Korean MMO led me to success, to be honest. Um, but yeah. That's unhinged. That's fuck it is fucked up. It is fucked up. It's very fucked up. But in the moment, I didn't realize how much I was gonna miss my 3DS. But now I have one. So, um, 3DS on the, dude, there was a dude heaters on the 3DS. Heaters. Fire Emblem Awakening. Monster Hunter games. I mean, Pokemon X and Y and Cinnamon are some of my favorite Pokemon games in the entire fucking series. Uh, Animal Crossing, Fantasy Life. No, there was. It's just, dude, it's actually huge. It's actually fucking huge. It's legit huge. You have Wii U and the GOAT and 360 and Trash, tier list rejected, Trash takes. I'm going to be honest, guys. You don't have to agree with it because you're allowed to be wrong. But I'm going to be real. My 3DS worked every single... Or my, my Wii U worked every single time I turned it on. My Xbox red rings eight times. I don't give a fuck. Xbox is dog shit. They had one good year. They released God tier games for one year. And didn't release anything of value for seven. I'm going to be honest. That's where the PS3 is the GOAT. Slow start, but just consistently released fucking bangers. Legit. The Xbox released God tier games in one year. They had a great year, and that was it, dude. That's just the truth. And I get and I'm gonna be honest, guys, I was an Xbox fan when I was a kid. Fuck Xbox. Dog shit fucking company. Bro. The GBA. God tier. Okay, dude. The GOAT. The GOAT of all GOATs. Okay, dude. Pokemon Emerald, Sapphire, and Ruby. 
Okay, dude. Golden Sun. Final Fantasy Tactics. Mega Man Battle Network. Woo! Baby! That shit had heat. Minish Cap. Oh, fuck! This shit had heat. It just did. It just did. It just did. You know what, boys? This might be the only Nintendo console in the good tier. I wasn't a fan of the Wii. I'm gonna be honest. Wasn't really a fan of the Wii. Wii Sports was sick. Nah, it literally revolutionized gaming. I can't even put it in there. I just realized that we literally, literally revolutionized gaming. Because we created a, 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 a requirement in the market for motion, for, for motion gaming. Like... It actually revolutionized gaming. I'm trolling. It's just because during that time, I didn't really play a lot of the Wii. You know what I mean? I wasn't crazy about it. Damn, Mario Galaxy to go. You know what? I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. I'm cooked. You're good. It is a go. It's a go. My bad. 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 It actually literally pioneered. I mean, even a lot of VR gaming and shit. You know what I mean? It actually pioneered a ton of stuff that exists today. So, honestly, boys, my bad. It was gimmick at the time. It was, but everyone copied it. It made the connect. It made the Wii Motion, which then led to like, you know, I mean, even the way we control like VR headsets and shit. You know what I mean? Uh, how insane is it that Nintendo DS? If one guy had Mario Kart, dude, in my okay, we're gonna talk about this. And this is actually another gold console. In my French class, there was a year when I was in secondary four, which is grade uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. So grade ten for me, for you guys, okay? Uh, we had this French teacher who was new, and. I don't know why he just didn't really control the class it's at all. Favorite. You know what I'm saying? Mr. Dromify, thank you very much for the fucking raid. Homies, show the man some motherfucking love. Hope you had a great stream, dude. Uh, we used to never actually do class in this course for some reason. So we used to have like an hour off every day. And what we used to do, what we used to LARP, where we used to set up the desks and have like uh, fake RPG battles. But the other thing we used to do is we used to all bring in our DS's and we used to have multiple 12 man lobbies up of Mario Kart. It was huge. It was actually huge. It was so much fun. It was actually really fucking sick. PS4. Destiny, but Destiny's multi-platform. What did the PS4 have? Uncharted. Honestly, Sony usually released some fucking bangers. A Bloodborne. Actually, the PS4 is still getting content. Don't you get like Spider-Man, Ratchet and Clank, God of War? Yeah, they're still getting content. Yeah, the PS4 is a goat. PS4 actually the goat. Uh, Vita. I honestly think Vita was the goat. I like my Vita a lot. Vita had some really good fucking tags. Mind you, the thing that was hard with Vita, you know, I'm gonna put Vita in good tier, and I'll tell you why. Something that Nintendo got right, and they started to lose actually in the Switch tier, is something that Sony I find suffered from very early on. They had console level or console level quality on the handheld, which was sick, right? But the issue with it is that when you're on the go, you need games that are like actually portable. And I find they kind of lack that, but they had really, really, really good. At least the Vita had fucking God tier JRPGs. I like the Vita, I'm putting GOAT. I'm gonna be honest, I like the Vita a lot. I'm gonna be, be honest. PS2, I mean, I never had a PS2. So I've never had or played a bunch of PS2 games, but I feel like it, it, it like the PS2 is like. I can't even not put them to go tier. I'm gonna be honest. I never had a PS2, but it was that. I'm gonna be honest, boys. I, I can't. That's. I would say this is probably the top of the list if I had to get. Even though I didn't play this shit. Not to me, I'll be honest. I feel like the GBA is the top of the list for me. Like, some of my best memories, if I put this in tier of my favorite memories ever in gaming, in top five, it would have to be... My top five... I don't know, PC. PC has to be there. PC has to be there, for sure. PC actually has to be at the top. PC, yeah, this would be my top five. In order of, like, my favorite consoles ever. 
Yeah, yeah that, that, I think that makes sense. I think that works. PC has to be one by default because it's PC, but putting PC in a tier list like this is weird because PC is kind of like everything, right? Xbox over PSX? That's I, just, I was a kid, that's what my dad bought. Like, we just had an Xbox. We had an Xbox and a GameCube, we never bought a PS2. So, I had an original Xbox, and so I played a bunch of original Xbox games. I love that shit. I just never played PS2 growing up. And even now, there's a bunch of games I never played. Like, I played PS2 games when they got re-released on PC or at friends' houses. And that was, like, pretty much it. So, yeah. This is a cheat code. That's what I'm saying. It's kind of weird, you know what I mean? PS1, not top insights. You're a boomer, you play striker. PSP, uh, gave, uh, paved the way, man. Not really, though. The PSP, like, used UMDs. It was just, like... It was good, but they just didn't figure out mobile gaming correctly, like Nintendo did. And it's something I kind of, like, don't like about newer portable consoles, is that, like, they don't make, like, good portable games anymore, if that makes any sense. Like, I really do feel like the 3DS was, like, the last good portable console. Like, I feel like now, everything is, like, Steam Deck level, where you're playing, like, a full game. But even, let's say, okay, for, for example, I use my Steam Deck a lot, okay, and I use it a lot on my couch. It's hard to find games... That, like, let's say my 3DS, my 3DS is filled with games. I think I'm going to be dead soon, let's check my, uh, my thing, and it was like, I'm about to die. My 3DS is filled with games that are easy to pick up, easy to put down, and I can, like, watch something while playing, right? Like, it's very easy to do that. But as on the Steam Deck, a lot of games require, like, full focus. You know what I mean? Like, this shit, like, I have, like, you know, Pokemon games, uh, even Zelda games, like, there's a lot of things where you could just, like, do things in, like, little segments, right? So you have, like, a fuck ton of games where it's, like, you're able to just, like, kind of pick up the console, put it down, and just, like, easily, like, like, watch something at the same time. Whereas, like, when I'm playing, like, my, my Steam Deck, it's, like, everything requires, like, an obscenely high amount of focus, right? So it loses that portability, in a sense. So, I don't know. But the Steam Deck is nice because it, it like, uh... It, it, I mean, it plays fucking everything, right? The only bad thing about Steam Deck is it's heavy as fuck. It's actually insanely heavy. I have to, like, lay it down on a pillow or it destroys my hands. GameCube, GBA, Xbox, Switch, PS2 with the DS, Honorable Sex. is something I uh, argue with a lot. Again, if I had a PS2, it would be up there for sure. It's just I, don't, I didn't have one growing up, so I'd, it's, you know what I mean? It's hard to say. I can't have nostalgia for something I didn't play. You know what I mean? But uh, I think that's it, boys. I think that's it. This is the official list. YouTube gamers, if you enjoy this content, you know what to do, baby. Yeah, you, yeah, you. I'll catch you guys next one.